Here we're solving what is called a quadratic type. So it's not quadratic because it's x to the fourth, but it look they can be turned into a quadratic. So what we can rewrite this as um, x to the fourth can be written as rewritten as x squared squared. Then we can write um, this would be x squared to the first plus one equals zero. So in a way, it's now quadratic, where you've got a term squared, a term to the first, and then a term without um, x. So that means we can do the quadratic formula if we've got 2, 1, 0 as our exponents. So we're going to do um, x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. However, instead of x equals, my x in this case is x squared. So we're going to say x squared equals the square root of b squared. Or, no, nope, already messing that up. x squared equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 a c, because the a in front of the squared term is 1, all over 2a. So we're going to go through and we're going to solve that. Negative negative 3 is 3, plus or minus the square root. That would be 9 minus 4 all over 2. So we get 3 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. But remember, this is x squared, so we still need to take the square root of both sides. Remember, any time you take a square root, you get plus or minus. So we actually get plus or minus the square root of 3 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So that is my solution. Now that's actually four solutions. You are getting um, x equals the positive square root of the positive radical 5. You're also getting positive square root of the negative radical 5. Then you're also getting negative square root of the negative radical 5. And you're getting negative square root of the positive radical 5. So there's four solutions when you look at that. Now we do not need to check those solutions and plug them back in. You only need to do that if you have raised both sides to an even power, and we have not done that. So there should be no extraneous solution.